Tonight, I'm going to tell you about the greatest man I've ever known. When we think about our parents, we think about memories and we think about I think about what my daddy said. He would say things like, you've got to be the last one in the game. You've got to give it all you have. If anybody's going to hurt you, it's going to be me. <laughs> and what he meant by that was that no one was going to hurt you. And I knew that because if trouble ever came our way, my daddy would put himself between us and the trouble. And you also think about the little quirks your parents have or had. I think about the way my daddy, he would go to his bride. My daddy had this thing he would do with his, with his jaw. And there were certain places that he would put his jaw that you would say, oh goodness, something bad is about to happen. Then you would remember the smells. My daddy was a Navy sailor and after getting out of the Navy, he went into the newspaper business. He was in the, the back shop, the blue collar part of a newspaper. Uh, he always came home smelling like ink and aqua velva and Winston cigarettes. It was it was wonderful for a little boy. The other thing I remember so fondly about my daddy was he would play with us. You know, he would play cards, not go fish or war or any silly games like that. My daddy played blackjack. <laughs> my daddy played poker. My daddy showed me how to play solitaire. He showed me how to throw a paradise. My brothers, I've got an older brother and a younger brother. We're all math people. My older brother's an engineer. My younger brother is a mathematician. I'm a mathematician. My daddy taught me math with cards. We would sit around one of these old folding tables and we would deal out blackjack hands. And he would point, he would say, what's showing? And I'm talking, I was six, six years old, seven years old. How many are left in the deck? How many red cards? How many cards that count 10? You know, some people think of card counting, they think of the movie 21 where people are saying plus one, minus one. I can do all that. That wasn't what my daddy was teaching me. He was simply teaching me to use logic. And we would sit around and do this just for hours. And when we would go on vacation, that meant we could play cards with daddy all day long. And it was just, it was beautiful. Well, he would sit. I'll be honest with you. The house where I grew up, I could fit five of those in the house that I live in now. And that's thanks to my daddy. But he would sit. We called it the living room. We had one room where the television was. And there was a daddy chair, just like there is most places. There's a daddy chair. And there was a wooden board. And on that wooden board, he would sit it across his chair and he would play solitaire. And we would sit and watch daddy play solitaire. That was entertainment. Daddy would count those cards out. One, two, three, flip them over. He'd do this thing with his hands. He would scratch his brow. He would think, and he'd say, hey, daddy, put that red queen on that black key. Well, my daddy's been dead 15 years now. And just recently, I have this thing about cards. I get excited. I get literally excited when I open a new deck of cards. I get excited when I rattle dice in my hands. I mean, it does. Well, I opened up a deck of cards. I flipped over one. It was a queen. 
Queen of Hearts. And I remember very fondly sitting and watching my father. As I said, he came home with ink in his hands. And one day he was flipping those cards over. And the Queen of Hearts, she had an ink print on her face. On her face. I said, hey, Daddy, Daddy, the Queen's got a dirty face. We need to get some more cards. And Daddy cleared his throat. He said, <clears throat> he went to his brow. He said, son, let me ask you a question. He said, can we still play that Queen of Hearts? on a black king if we're playing in solitaire? I said, yes. He said, can we still play that queen of hearts with an ace? Can we put her with an ace and she'll still be 21 if we're playing blackjack? I said, yes. He said, well, son, let me tell you this. He said, when we took that queen of hearts, out of the deck, she was perfect. But after all these years we've been playing with her, and she's been playing her games, she doesn't look like what she used to. But she still does her job, and she's given us all these things. She's let us play games with her. And we put her in the box, we take her out of the box, but she's still the same. And I kind of said, what are you talking about? And my daddy said, someday, son, you'll have a queen of hearts. And you'll know, you'll know what I mean. And you say, how in the world do you remember something like that? And what I have to say is, how in the world could you ever forget something 